nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello! <laughs> Straight pool. I'm learning a lot here. I hope you are learning too. Some strategy. So I'm gonna play really bad now. I just I will just rely on strategy. And I have heard many players say that uh, some straight pool players they play horrible. They're just very bad players, but they can still run many hundreds of balls even when they are bad players. And it is because of the strategy. So I'm not even going to try play my best. I will just use my strategy alone. So let's see what we have here. I will continue from the last video. 15 is a good break ball. I want to use 15 as a break ball. And uh, we need to shoot these balls very early here. So I, the only choice I have is to just make the 10 ball in, in, the, in the corner there. Try to avoid the 15 and just try to draw it. Uh, maybe, maybe play position below here. Position for the seven or for the five. I will attempt for that. Let's first shock the cue if we make a draw shot. And then play position somewhere there. Low left spin. There you go. Stop, 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 stop. That is fine. That is very nice there. Now I can just make a. Uh, yeah. I will start the cue ball on the six, and then I can make the five in the corner. There. That is good. And now I need some angle on the six to go for the 15. So I want to stop the cue ball near the rail here. There, there we go. Now I have the angle on the six. I can go here for the 15. I don't want to come up too short either. So maybe hit the rail and come out a little bit. Have a, better to have a little angle on the 15 than no angle at all. So I will hit the rail. There, hit the rail, come out a little bit. Perfect. Ooh. I started the, the game very nicely there. Now I, I, I'm a little, little bit too thin on the 15, but that, that is okay. I will just break open the pack even more when I'm thinner on the 15, but making the 15 becomes harder if you have a cut angle. This racking part is very boring. Just racking and racking. Like a racky boy. That, that is why I don't like to play straight pool so much. Only, only because of the racking, nothing else. It's a very funny game, but just you need to keep racking the balls like that. I don't like that. It should be some something automatic. Automatic racking table. Someone should really invent that where the balls are just racked just like that immediately then you can continue your, your run without having to take a break like that here I will follow a shot and the, the problem is when you are on this side of the table you, don't, you need to reach the shot but if you are, if you are on, on this side of the table you have a very good, very good stroke okay so always you want to select the the break ball that is on this side of the rack, if you are right-handed. If you have ball, a ball there and a ball there, you want to select this ball here. And you have a bet, better stroke. Okay, but now I need to reach, reach the shot and it becomes a lot tougher for me. Here you use a top left spin. Top left spin. Oh, I made it. <laughs> I can't believe I made that shot. I, I'm going to make a high run here. So here, it's, all, it's always about the first, the, the break shot there, and then you can just, it becomes easy then, if you have a good strategy, okay. Here the nine ball, I would like to make the nine ball very soon, but the, uh, the 13 ball is blocking the nine, so I want to shoot the 13 ball. And here, after the 13, I might make, make the two ball here. Uh, let's, let's see what we have here. Ah, the, the 12 ball. I, I want to make the 12 ball here. 
just clear out some this area here. I don't want the balls to be too close to each other. For the 12 ball, after the after the 13 ball, I want to make the 12. And yeah, I'll hit the rail. I come out a little bit. There we go. Whoops, not, not too close to the nine there. And now I make the make the 12 ball. And I, I want I need to fix this problem very soon. Okay. Uh, I could keep the one ball as the break ball, but it is too far down. I don't like it that much. I would like to be here on the two ball and that I want to push the one ball up a little bit. Okay. I want to do that. Okay, so I want a little angle on the on the two ball. Well, I did not get that. I got I would have had to shoot it harder, so I, I did I did not succeed there. But I have a good shot on the three ball in, in the in the side pocket. Okay. And now I need to play position whew, for the nine ball. It, it, it is getting getting quite stressful that I need to fix fix this problem very soon. Got to fix it very soon. Yeah, I might also hit the three ball, make the three in the side, and push the six ball. But I might lock, lock up these balls more than they are or, or already locked up. I don't want that. And this is a problem here, or very big problems I have here. Uh, I might make the two ball there, try to hit the one ball. Okay, but then I don't, I don't fix anything over here anyway. I need to do something here. So what I do here is I will play position with the cue ball somewhere in this, in this area. Okay, and if I hit the eight ball, I will clear the path for the six in the corner. Okay, so I can either hit the eight ball thin or I can go past the eight and stop here with the cue ball and make the nine in the corner. So I will do that. That's a good plan. There you go, you see? Yeah. No matter what uh, what happened, I got a good good result out of that. And now I can choose any of these balls. I fixed the problem. I fixed the problem here. And I can make the nine, I can make the six. And now we need to worry about this problem over here. Okay, we need to fix that. And uh, the four, you can't make the four in the corner if you are like this. The, the one ball is in the way. Okay, so we, now we need to hur hurry up here and try to fix this problem. And many players, they, they just try to run these balls first and then they don't fix anything here. Okay, because this is quite an e easy, easy layout over here. You, not 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 that's too too big that's uh, too difficult here so i would i would rather be somewhere be be somewhere here and try to fix this problem or this problem first okay doesn't matter that you are so close with the cubo to these walls you want to go over here and try to fix this okay so who hmm yeah, I would like to just come up over here in immediately. Don't wait with that. Just go over there. I will, you, I will use the six ball. I will, I will make the six ball follow the cue ball down to the two ball. Below the two. Below the two ball. Oof. Yeah, I don't have a good, good angle on the two. Okay, so now I need to... Uh, I need to play a little, little aggressive here. I could of course place the cue ball below the four and make the four in the corner, but that becomes a tough shot. But I don't think I have a choice over here. Yeah, I, I, I really want to push the one ball higher up here. That is what I like to do, but I'm worried about the 11 there. The 11, it, it will get it might get stuck with the 11, I don't want that. So there's another, there's another way I can see here. It is by yeah, making, the four, making the four in the corner over there. 
Okay, stop shot on the five, make the four in the corner. But to do that, I need to first make the two ball and then the ten ball. Okay, so I will do that. First the two ball, two ball here, then the ten ball. Now I clear the path for the four ball over here. So I'll just make a, yeah, a draw shot. I need to draw the two. Draw a shot over here for the for the five. And yeah. Oops, what happened there? I went way too close to the eleven. I did I did not want that. Now, now I have a too much angle on the five, so the cube will come out too far, and I don't like that. So I need to pick one of these balls, play, play, play better position for the five. So I will do that. Okay. Let's see if I got any better or if I still got the same. I got the, I got about the same results there. And now I want to pick uh, uh, pick uh, this ball, remove this ball. I don't like where it is. It is too close to the one ball there. So I'll just make it, make that. And uh, ooh, yeah. I, the position for the next ball is uh, tough. So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose choose the eight ball here anyway. Play position. I want to be somewhere here on the five. It's very critical that I get there very, very soon. Yeah, that was a bad shot. That was a very bad shot there. No, I did not succeed. I did not succeed at all on, on that shot. Now I need to make the nine hole. Okay, I don't want to pick, pick out the five and mess up something. I had a good opportunity to play from the nine ball for the five here, so I will do that. There we go, finally, finally I got the shot. Stop shot on the five here. I really struggled on this rack. Yeah, yes, yeah, just a stop shot here. Stop shot. Maybe a little bit of draw. Just a little bit of draw here. There you go. Let's see what I got. Yeah, now I can make the four. And yeah. Yeah, I, I, I need to play position for the for the Ooh, this is getting tough now. Uh, I need to play position for the eleven. But I think I'm gonna have a this kind of bad shot on the 11 and I don't like that I don't like that yeah. I, I might need to have to push the 11 in front of the side pocket there tough I don't want to hit the one ball either so if I'm gonna miss if I'm gonna miss the 11 I, I will have this kind of tough shot but maybe I don't have a choice, but because I still need a good angle to get down to the seven balls there. I don't have a choice. If I attempt to hit the 11 and I have a bad shot on the 11, there's no way I can get to the seven. Okay, so I need to play with the cue ball to this area here and get a tough shot on the 11. Just to make sure that I will get the position on the seven. There you go, now I have a tough shot on the 11 there, but I didn't have any choice. Didn't have any choice. So low right spin. This is going to be, be the toughest shot so far. Low right spin. Yeah, and I missed the shot. Yeah. Missed the shot. I will do it again. This is the shot that ended my run. Low, low right speed. Now I overcompensated, hit it too thick this time. And that is something you, you often get when you do, do these shots, you overcompensate. 
the third time, the third time you always make. First you hit too thin, then you hit too thick, then the third time you hit it right. Okay? On this shot you want to get here to the center of the table, so... Now I need to shoot a little hard just to get there. And I don't think it is possible to get enough speed with left, left spin alone. I think I need to follow the cue ball one rep, two reps and come up here and then up again for the, for the one ball. I think I need to do that. Like that. <laughs> I went way too close to the side pocket there. I'm going to do it again. I want to show you. I use a little bit too much of left spin on that shot. Lot of top spin, a little left spin. No, again, I, again, I do the same thing. Again, I will do it again. Yeah. A lot of top spin, little bit left spin. There you go, that is the, yeah, better, yeah, that is how I want. So yeah, that is the break. Good, good shot for the, for the break shot. This is a very tough game, this straight pool. You can see that I'm not so, not so skilled compared to tennis ball and other games. But you, you've got to start somewhere, okay? Everyone will start at a low level and then they work, work up the skill, get better. Yeah, racking the balls again. Need to start racking them faster. Like that. There you go, a little bit faster this time. And now I will follow into the pack. Yeah, I don't think I will scratch in the corner. I think I, I think the cue ball is going to hit this this spot over here. So yeah, let's do top left spin. Ah, there you go. I get better. You see, you can improve your game very quickly if you just practice straight pull. Now the only only choice I have here is to make it 50. Only the only choice. And uh, I want to make either the three ball or the nine ball after. So I will do that. Yeah, cue ball rolled off line a little bit there. I hit it a little too thin. Now, now, okay, now comes an interesting shot. Uh, should I break open these, these balls from, uh, from, the, from the 10? Okay, should I do that? Because I had the 9 here, if something goes wrong, I get stuck. I still can make the 9 in the corner, so that's very good. Or should I just try to attempt to uh, make a construct a break ball, hit the 14 thin, but the 8 is there, so it would, be, uh, it would become a cluster, and I don't like that. So I think, yeah, I will, just, I will try to move some of these balls, probably. It is a tough choice here because I don't have any, any break ball, so it is going to be tough. Yeah, you can see that the fourth thing, fourth in, fourth in is hidden behind these balls, and I don't like that. I can't make the 14 in any, any, any way. And ah, look at that. Here is the break ball. It is a break ball. Yeah, the 8 is a break ball. Why, why, did I, why didn't I see that? I didn't see the 8 because the 14 is being blocked. 14 is being blocked and uh, you need to fix that very, very soon. And also here, yeah, I think the 8 is a little, little bit too high up, so that I don't like it. That is not so perfect, the 8 is a little bit too high up. Would be better if it, would be better if it, if it, if it was a little lower down here. here would be better. So I don't have a good break ball. So I will run into the ball balls here, try to break open. Hit the, hit the 13. There you go. If, if, is it something better now? I have cleared out this area, so I have a... There, there is no cluster, no problems anymore on the table at all. I have, I have removed all the problems. And here I have a shot on the, on the 9 ball. 
the fourth inning, the fourth inning is blocking the line a little bit, so it is not that easy. But I can make a combination. Yeah, hit the fourteen on the on the nine ball. Make the combination, and be, because the nine was so close to the pocket, the combination was easy. Normally, it would be difficult, but now it was quite easy to do. Ah, now comes an opportunity to uh, make the six, hit the four with the cue ball and push the four into a, the break shot. And then I, I have a position after on the 14 or the five. So I will do that. Ah, perfect. There you go. Constructing the break ball. Now we are finished. This is a perfect, this is a perfect place for the four, okay? So now what you need to do is just clear out this area around this, this break ball. You know, you want to keep it safe. You don't want to mess up uh, anywhere now when you have a good, good break ball. So the 13 is, is going to be a problem. You want to remove it, remove it very quickly. And I would, uh, <coughs> yeah, the, four, the 13 could be made in the side if you first make the 12 and the 7. And uh, I really don't need to select the 14 now. There's no reason to, se to select the 14 because it is not blocking any other balls because the 4 ball is going to be the break ball anyway. So the 14 is not blocking anything here. So what I want to do is uh, I would like to I'm, uh, I could make the seven right now in, into the side pocket. Okay, I can, I can, I can do that. And later I can select the twelve in the side, and then the thirteen, final thirteen. I would like to have a stop shot on the five, have a good shot on the thirteen in this. In this, I will make the, if I'm if I'm straight in on the five. Okay, late later in the rack, I make a stop shot, make the five in the corner. Then I have a good shot on the thirteen into the side pocket. Okay, that's a good, good, uh, good choice. And also the 13 could also be the key ball. Just make a soft roll, start the cue ball there. Good, good break shot on the four. But I don't like that the 13, 13 is so close to the four. I don't like that. So here I will start the, I will make the seven in the, in the side pocket. It's a tougher shot, but it will fix much, much later. It will fix things later in the rack. Because I, I really want to make the 13 in that side pocket much easier. Just make a stop shot on the three, make the 13 in, the, in that side pocket. And for that, I need to remove the, the 12 ball from the way. So I need to go to the 12 ball uh, very quickly. So yeah, I need to make the three ball here because it is it's blocking the two ball. So I will make that three ball. There we go. Now, yeah, uh, five. I have angle on the five, so I, I can make a stop shot there. So I, I can make the fourteen here. Uh, I, I forgot that uh, I could have used the three ball. Uh, later for the 13 to make the 13 in the side pocket, I forgot about that. But I have the two ball here, I can roll it, roll the two ball soft, stop somewhere here with the cube and then make the 13 in the side. So right now I really, really would need to make, uh, make the, fix this problem very quickly. Uh, so yeah, I will just make the 14, play position, try to play position somewhere in this area. Then if I'm lucky, I can make the 12 in that corner pocket, or I can make the eight in the corner, or I can make the two in the corner. So I'll just play position into this, this area. Okay, right from the 14 ball. Top left spin. Whoops, ah, I did not want to hit that. I think I'm lucky here, I can make a stop shot on the five. Or, yeah, I will make a little, little follow shot. There you go. Now it's good. That is good. That is where I want to be. Okay. Now I can make either the 
13 ball or the 12 ball, but I, I, the 13 ball is tougher. I think I might select that instead. And playing position on the on the two ball here, that's a not 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 so good. I rather want to be on the other side of the two ball. So yeah, I think I'll go. I'm going to make the whew, 12 in the side after the 13 maybe. Or I'll just maybe I'll just do like a plan before I make the 12 in the side. Uh, roll in the two ball, stop somewhere here, and make the 13 in the side. Okay. I could do that as well, but I really don't like that. I, I need to have very perfect position from the two when I'm on the two ball to roll it in. I get perfect on the 13, and if I'm too high up, I have a tough shot on the 13, and I don't like that. So I would prefer I would prefer to make a 13 right away. Okay, I I might not get uh, as good of a shot on the 13 later. I could of course also make the 13 in this corner pocket if I'm if I'm there. Let's see. Yeah. It's gonna be tricky, very tricky shot. Because if I make the 12 in the side pocket, the cube will, will end up over here. I don't have a good shot on the 13. Uh, until after I make the two ball and I need to be very good on the 13. If I'm too high up on the 13, I might hit the four on the way on the way down. So I will just pick the 13 right away. Okay, I will pick the 13 right away. I will play position somewhere here that I can make the 12 in the side. If I get bad position, I get frozen to the rail maybe. I can, I can make the two in that corner pocket or I can make the 11 if, if things go very bad. So I will make the 13 in the side pocket. A little bit of right, right spin. And I miss the shot, you see. Hit that uh, too thick. Hit that too thick. You see that uh, I had to sacrifice a little bit uh, just to make it easier later in the rack. I will do that again. You should actually remove this uh, before. Yeah, there you go. Much much easier if you remove this. If you if you, if you roll soft over over this uh, rack over this plastic rack then the cue ball will not go in the same in the proper direction and now i have uh, this two ball is this 12 ball is too tough but this two ball is easier so i will select this uh, two ball top right spin there we go and now i can finally make the 12 or the 8, I will select the 12 because the 12 is closer to the to the 4 ball. I don't want to mess up there later. So I will make this first. There we go. And now I make the 8. And I don't want to say I don't want to keep the 8 ball as a key ball because position play is tougher. It is better to use a, a key ball on this side of the table. So I will play position one rail, two rails come up here for the 11. There you go. And now I can get, get the good break shots. Stop somewhere here, okay. I could also, of course, go around the table, one rail, two rails, three rails come up here. If, you, if I want to get closer. But I might overheat it and get too far. But I'm going to attempt for that. I don't want to. If I make the 11, 11 one rail, I will end up here with the cue ball, and it might be too a too long distance shot, and I don't like it. I want to get a little closer. And there you go. Uh, yeah, come into the angle. Very nice. That's much better. Much better to be here than to be over here. Okay, much better. So there you go. You, you notice that I, I'm, I'm picking up the balls with my left hand only, only touching them with the glove. And uh, when I need to rack the balls, then of course I need to use both hands. 
but I will minimize the contact I have with the, my, my bare fingers if I pick up the balls with my glove only. Because I, I, I rack it, half of the balls I rack right now with the glove, other half I rack with the other hand. So I'm, I'm minimizing the amount of dirt uh, that will get stuck on, on, the, on the balls when I pick up the ball with my glove. And that is going, that is going to help you make higher runs. Time for the break shot. Here I use a little bit of, yeah, I use top, little bit top speed and right speed. There you go, and I hit the rail there, okay? Because if the cue ball is on the left side of the cue here, then you can use a follow shot and you don't, you don't scratch in the, in the corner. But if you, are on, on, if, if you are on this side of the cue with the cue ball, then a follow shot might make you scratch in, in the corner. Yeah, especially if you if you just need to look at the rack, you need some experience for that. So now let's continue. Yeah, I can make the 11 there because it is blocking the 9. I want to remove that. It becomes much easier later. And after I make the 11, I have a shot on the 5 in the side. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't see any other choice here. I need to go for it. Oops. I shot it to soft so the ball rolled offline. Especially with the right spin I used. Because I used right right spin. It, it curved like a massage shot. I'm gonna use I will use pure top spin now. And it also this part of the, of the table is not level, I can see it curve. That's a problem when you made, make those lo soft rolls. The cue ball will roll offline and it will, it will go to the side. You don't want that. You, you, you preferably want to shoot the shots with medium speed and not any soft rolls. Here we have a problem over there. I don't have a choice, I need to make the five in the side. Okay, I don't have a choice about that. And then, can I make the six in the corner? No, I can't. The, the two boys blocking it. So I, I mean, I mean, I'm in trouble here. I'm in big trouble. I need to draw back the cue ball and hit the six ball. Okay. Hit the six thin. That will clear out the uh, area for the two ball. Then I can make it two in the corner. And when the six ball is closer to this cluster, I'm able to break it open more easily. If the six ball is over here, I can make the six in the corner and break open that cluster more easily. So I'm going to attempt for that. I still have the three ball as a backup ball if I fail on this shot. So, choppy cue, low right spin, try to hit the six ball thin. Oh, I hit the seven instead. Okay, but I'm still okay. Now I need to make the two ball, of course. And at the same time, I will break open that cluster over there. And the problem here is that I don't get a shot after, okay? If I get stuck here with the cue ball, I don't have a shot any, anywhere here, okay? This, this is going to be a gamble shot, but uh, I might get a shot on the 12 if I'm lucky, okay? That is all, all, I, that is all I will get. I'm not getting anything good out of this. So, yeah, what, what, I would, what I would rather do is, I will just try to avoid this cluster. I don't want to get stuck here. I want to avoid it, go to the other side of the table because I still need to pick up the 14 sometime, okay? So I, I might, might as well do it now. And later, after the 14, I will play position somewhere here. I can still make the nine, I can make the three ball. After the three ball, I can make the six or the seven, many good things I can do later, so. And also the two ball is blocking the seven, so in the future I can make the seven. I need to make the two ball right now, play position for the 14 ball. Low right spin. There you go. And now I, I want to play position. So 
So I did, ooh, I'm straight in on the, ooh, I'm straight in here. I can't do much. I'm straight in on the fourth thing, so I need to, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, I need to get closer. So I'm gonna use um, a little bit of massage shot. Top left spin, a little bit of massage shot, get, get away from this rail here. Now I can make the nine ball, I can make the three ball. And yeah, I'm gonna select the three ball because uh, I will try to hit the seven there. If I miss the seven, I'm here. I have a shot on the nine in the corner, okay? A backup plan. This is going to be a tough shot. There we go, I hit the seven there. Now I have a shot on the nine there, very nice. Yeah, perfect. I, I make the nine in the corner, break open the eight. Get position on the 12 in the side. I still, I can still also make the six in the corner. So that's a very good, very good plan. There you go. Eight ball is free. I can make the 12 in the, in the side. I can make the six ball. But I would like to prefer to save the six ball for later because I can use that to break open the cluster. So if I'm here on the six, I can break open the cluster easily. So I want to save the six ball for later. So here I just, I just make the 12 ball and I come back with the, I come back to these balls. Yeah, now I need to make the 10 ball. This is a tough shot because uh, I have a little bit too much angle on the on the 10. I would have preferred to be here on the 10 and make a stop shot. But because I'm here, the cue ball will end up going too far and then I don't have any shot. So what's that, what I'm thinking about, I'm just, Going for going for that cluster uh, right away, right from the ten ball. I will try to hit that cluster. And if I hit if I hit the one ball, the thirteen ball will end up somewhere close to the corner. So I have a good shot there. I just need to hit it hard enough so that the cue ball will not not get stuck down there. I want it to. I want the cue ball to come back up again. I hit it on the bottom side there. But I got lucky. I think I got lucky here. I can make this six ball. Now I just, the wall is in the way, so I need to move it closer. But now it's a golden opportunity. I can create a break ball, right, the, with the 13. I make the six in the corner, hit the 13 with the cue ball. The cue ball will push the 13 into this area. So I need to use a little left spin. Because, because I'm going to hit the 13 so thin, I need to use left spin on the cue ball to throw it, throw it higher up. Otherwise, the 13 will go that direction if I hit it so thin. But because of the left spin on the cue ball, the 13 will go uh, higher up into a better break position. So I, I, I do that left spin. There you go. That is perfect there. Great break, break, uh, break shot. And I don't have a shot now on, on anything here, but I can make a bank shot of the eight into the, into, the, into the side. But the problem here is that later, I still have this problem, okay? I, ha I have this uh, problem later, so I might as well make a bank shot with any of these balls right away. Because that is going to be a problem later, so I need to make a bank shot on the one ball right now. Then I will hit the 15 with the cue ball push the 15 close to the corner. That is my only choice. That is my only option I have. Push the four, 15 close to the corner pocket. There you go. Uh, and then I made it. I made it, I made a shot. Very nice. Now I have a shot. The 15 is in front of the corner. I will put it here for the seven. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice here. There you go. It got very tough in here in the end because I didn't get how I wanted right away. So I need to suffer for that. I got three rails around the table for, for the eight. And it is, it is okay if I'm, if I'm straight in on this eight. But I don't want to pass this, this line because then I have the wrong angle on the eight. I'd rather be somewhere between this line and this line. So start somewhere in this area. Ah, 
Hi, Mr. Shah. Mr. Shah, I will do it again. I need to do it again. I, I heard it on that shot too much. And I went too far. I hit it too thin. Let's see if I go back past this line. Yeah, I, look at that. I went past this cue. I'm on the wrong side of the eight. Now I am in trouble. Because I will not have a good good break shots. I need to go around the table. Okay. I need to go around the table to get a good break shot here because I can I can make a stop shot here. Cue ball will will end up coming here. I don't have angle on the thirteen. I need to. I need to go around the table, that's the only way. A hard top spin. One rail, two rails, three rails, four rails, and then I have an angle on the brake shot. Gonna be a tough, very tough shot here. There you go. <laughs> that was uh, hard, yeah, it was short, I had the angle, tough, long shot there. This is what happens if you don't uh, get into the right position from the beginning. It gets worse and worse every time. I don't have, I don't have recording time to finish this, so I, I will just end this video. So, until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.